Hey guys, it's Don Kozak, and it is currently day 26 of National Novel Writing Month 2018. We are in the final stretch. I can't believe it's almost over. Holy crap. So it is currently afternoon. I just got done with a writing session. I was trying to get some decent chunk of word count done so that later tonight I wouldn't have too much to write so that I can actually spend time with my poor neglected husband. He has been so bored and lonely all month because during the day while he's at work, I watch my daughter, I clean the house, and then when he gets home at night and my daughter goes to sleep, I do my writing. So he basically just sits around and plays a video game or watches a TV show, and I have just been neglecting the poor guy. So we want to spend time together, maybe do a game night or a movie night or something, but yeah, I feel terrible. National Novel Writing Month is not only difficult for the writer, but it's also difficult for the significant other, the children, close friends, whoever else plays a big role in your life. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. Anyways, let me just show you how I've done so far for the day. All right, so from the writing session I just finished, I got 1,083 words, which is not bad. My total right now is 43,171 words. I would like to get to 44,000 by the end of the night. So this evening during my second writing session, I need to get just over 800 words and I will be golden. Things are looking good so far. I will update you guys later. Guys, it is day 28 and I am so ready for this to be over. I'm so tired of writing. <laughs> Let me show you where I'm at right now. Things are still good, but I'll just go over my word count with you real quick. That is either the sound of rain or snow melting off my roof. I'll peek in a second, but I apologize for the noise. So on day 26, I wrote 2,022 words and got just over 44,000 words total. And then yesterday, day 27, I wrote 1,929 words and reached 46,000 words total, which leaves me with just barely under 4,000 words to go before I reach the amazing 50,000 words. My hard goal for the day is 2,000 words, but my soft goal is to do 4,000 words and just finish this darn thing because I want it to be over. I am tuckered out and I need a break from writing for reals. My daughter is currently taking her nap, so my plan for the afternoon is to get 1,000 words done and then to finish editing my previous vlog so that I can finally get that uploaded. I realize at this point in NaNoWriMo, people really don't have time to watch videos, but I'm going to upload it anyways just to keep consistency on my channel and also just for the sake of creating kind of a journal for myself so I can look back later. So I'll get that done hopefully before her nap ends and then I'll try to get another thousand words done throughout the afternoon while my daughter's awake before my husband gets home. And then tonight, do the final 2,000 so that I can finish NaNoWriMo. Wish me luck. It is still raining outside, so sorry about that noise. But look how far I've gotten today already. I've done 1,591 words so far, and that was all during my daughter's nap. She's probably going to wake up soon. Honestly, she's probably already awake, just babbling in her bed. But that's what I've gotten done so far which puts my total at 47,630. So I'm really tempted to just try to finish today, especially because I just got done watching Emily Bourne's wrap-up video, and she finished NaNoWriMo just barely and did like 4,000 words in a day, which is what I would end up doing today. So now I feel even more pressure to do it because she inspired me. So I hope I can do it. I guess I will catch up with you guys later. Wish me luck somehow, even though you're watching this video after the fact. Okay, ignore my freaking furnace going. I finished. It's over. I'm so tired and I just want to go to bed, but I'm also so happy. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, the furnace is so annoying. 
I'm super tired and I just want to go to bed. But I will say that I am so freaking proud of myself for actually sticking with something and seeing it through to the end. I have come so freaking far with my writing this year. I know it's not perfect. It is miles and miles away from perfect, but I'm so happy with my progress and I'm excited to see what's to come. Oh my gosh, it even says I'm a winner. I have never seen that on my own NaNoWriMo page before. I feel so freaking cool. This is what it feels to be part of the cool club. Am I in the cool club now? I've got a purring cat on the floor next to me and my daughter just barely woke up from her nap is babbling in the other room. So I apologize if you can hear that and I'm gonna have to make this last little snippet brief. It is currently the 30th of November. Um, as you know from the other clips in my video, I finished on the night of the 28th of November. I stayed up till almost one in the morning <laughs> trying to get it done. It was actually pretty funny because throughout the whole month I was using, oh, my cat's attacking me. I was using Google Docs and I didn't know this, but Google Docs overestimates your word count. So I think it was around midnight. I thought I reached 50,000 words and I was really excited. So I copy and paste. Ow, my cat's being such a jerk. I copy and paste my um, document into the word count validator on NaNoWriMo's website. And I'm 400 words short. I'm like, what the heck? So I had to write another 400 words. And at that point, I was so over it. I think that was the worst 400 words I've ever written in my entire life. But I did it. It counts. And so I finally got it validated. I had, you know, the winner screen pop up. And I just sat there and I was like, oh, I'm done. It wasn't like this totally emotional, crazy thing. I didn't start crying because, you know, I didn't finish my book yet. But it felt good. That's for sure. Um, I think my biggest takeaway from this whole crazy experience, which is, you know, completing NaNoWriMo for the first time ever, is that you need to be deliberate <laughs> with your goals. Um, the previous times that I tried to complete NaNoWriMo, it was just kind of on a whim. You know, the month of November rolled around. And I went, oh yeah, that's going on. Maybe I'll try it. And I didn't even have a story idea I was excited about. I only wrote a couple days and then gave up. Inks cut out. He's like attacking me. Cats are so weird because, you know, they'll ignore you all day long, but then they'll randomly decide, okay, it's time for attention. And it's always at the most inconvenient times. Yeah, I see you looking at me. Anyways, like I said, I wasn't deliberate. I didn't have concrete goals before. But this year, because I came at it with the mindset that I was going to finish it, I had a plan, I had a story outlined, I had word count goals for each day, all that sort of thing. And because of all the preparation I did and the actual mental decision I made that I was going to do it, I wasn't just going to try, I was going to do it, I think that helped me accomplish it this year. So... All that to say is I think that kind of mentality can apply to every area of your life, not just writing. If you feel like you're just hitting dead end after dead end and not getting anywhere, you might need to be a little more deliberate with your goal setting and, I don't know, identify the things that will lead you to where you want to be, not just the vague idea of who you want to be as a person and at what point you want to be in your journey in life. So that would be my advice, you know, kind of deconstruct the road to your ultimate end goal. And then from there, you can identify the things that need to happen to achieve that. All right, I'll stop being sappy. I'll just close with saying that I really appreciate, ow, there's my cat again. I really appreciate you guys supporting me in my writing journey, especially throughout this month of November. I... Honestly, don't know how I could do it without everyone being so encouraging and motivating. Otherwise, it would be just a really lonely, discouraging process. Obviously, you know, my husband, my family, my friends are all very supportive, but writers get writers, if you know what I mean. I mean, people outside can be as supportive as they want to, 
but having someone else who's doing the same thing or at least a similar thing to what you're doing helps a lot. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed following me, oh my gosh, that cat. Now he's on the baby's changing table, just walking around like a weirdo. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching my journey throughout the month of November as I battled NaNoWriMo and you'd like to see more of my writing journey in the future, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you have an AuthorTube channel, let me know down in the comments so that I can go check it out. Thank you so much for watching and happy writing. Bye.